What's up, family? I told y'all it was more to this story. Now we have Stump the Yard star, Columbus Short, sharing his unsubstantiated theory about what he thinks led to the suicide death of DJ Twitch. The 40-year-old actor who appeared with DJ Twitch in the 2010 Stomp sequel, Homecoming, posted a since-deleted video to Instagram on Thursday in which he claimed that Ellen DeGeneres' former DJ, also 40, may have invested in something that took his whole life savings. People made investments. People do a lot of things. This is just a theory, Columbus said in a one and a half minute clip, which was screen recorded and posted on Twitter. Then he dropped a bombshell. Columbus posed the question, what if you invested in something that took your whole life savings possibly? Now, a source close to DJ Twitch said that there's absolutely no truth to Columbus's unsubstantiated theory. Nevertheless, after presenting his unsubstantiated theory, Columbus got laser focused and he seemed to draw a line to Tracy Christian, who is the owner of Hollywood's only black talent agency. After presenting his unsubstantiated theory, Columbus shifted his focus and seemed to draw a line straight to Tracy Christian, who is the owner of Hollywood's only black talent agency and allegedly counts Columbus as a client. Columbus said he didn't want to speak too much on issues that may have affected DJ Twitch, but he did segue into saying that Tracy Christian owes him money and he's serious about getting it. He said, because you got caught up, you can't pay me my money in a trust account. I don't trust your account. I don't trust you, Tracy Christian. He continued before crassly adding, and I'm not going to kill myself. I promise you that. So pay me my money. Now, what is this investment we're talking about? Well, according to reports, other sources are saying that it has something to do with crypto investments. Now y'all know that FTX, the big exchange, went down several days ago. They got the boss tied up. He's in cuffs. Uh, several other companies have went down over the last 12 months. You know, just a year ago, around this time is when the market starts sinking. Now, I will say this, fam. Every year around this time, the market starts sinking. Well, actually, it starts sinking around November, mid-November. Every year. I've been doing crypto since 16, so I know. But it happens like this all the time. But crypto was at its all-time highs last year. So a lot of people had jumped on board. It had gotten a lot of commercial success. In fact, Miami Heat was in their first full season of playing in FTX Arena. You got Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles that used to be the Staples Center. So crypto was on the move uh, to, to integrate in the mainstream. And it's still on the move, but it's going through some stumbling blocks right now. And, you know, a lot of people have lost money over the last year. A lot of people have lost big money. But here's the thing, fam. And, I, and listen, listen, fam, I know y'all always talking about race stuff and all of that, but I'm going to just tell you straight up, fam. Black people don't normally kill themselves over money. Black people don't normally kill themselves if they run into a rough patch financially. Because we didn't survive so much. We feel like, you know, money, we make, you know, lose money, make money, lose money, make money. You know, like, so we don't normally take ourselves out for stuff like that. So I'm still suspicious. I'm not saying that it didn't happen that way. I don't know how what went down, but I'm just saying it still sounds very fishy to me that he still that he would take his life because crypto 
you know, crypto, crypto is like all investments. Like I told, to tell people all the time. And in fact, let me say this right here for, for the people who've been asking me about Saitama. When I first jumped in Saitama, like I told everybody, look, this is what I'm doing. If y'all want to do this, the number one, my number one goal with investments, in invest in anything. Only invest what you're willing to lose. Point blank, period. And I'm the type of person that I know how to take my bitter with my sweet. So I'm still way up in crypto and I'm going to keep investing in crypto. You know, crypto go up and it go down and go up and it go down, but it's made to go up. Just like the stock market. Yeah, it's a different type of commodity. commodity. It's a different type of currency. But at the end of the day, it's all digital currency and it's all a risk. It's all an investment. You know, it's a risk. So it's a calculated risk. So that's why you got to do your numbers. Think about, you know, damn, can I, if I put this amount of money up, is it going to drive me crazy if I lose it? If I'm going to be watching, you know, am I going to be watching my money all day, every day, just watching the market all day, every day? Can I get through the market? When you first get in, I don't care who you are, when you first get in, you know, you'll be watching all the time. You you'll have your face glued to the phone. But then as time goes by, you you know, you start to realize that, man, this thing gonna drive me crazy if I keep on looking at it. So you look at it maybe once, twice a day, and just keep it moving. That's what I do. But I'm still up, I'm way up. And when the market come back, while, every, while everybody panicking right now, and everybody saying, man, dude, crypto is a Ponzi scheme. And you know, you know, people been saying that for a long time. You know, they said that about the stock market. When the stock market, market first got in the game, they, they said that about the stock market. And they've been saying it about crypto from day one. They said it about Bitcoin when Bitcoin was at a dollar. They said it was well, less than a dollar. They said it was a scheme. They said it was a Ponzi scheme. But now Bitcoin is at still, even with the market way down, Bitcoin is at $17,000 today. It's $17,000. So whatever it is, hey, man, if, that, if that's what it is, I want in. I want in. So it's all about making a calculated risk. Like for me, like I said, I don't put up no more, and, and not just with crypto, with any investments, any investments. I don't invest anything that I'm not willing to lose. Now, would it sting if I lose? Yeah, but I don't care what I invest. It's not going to make me kill myself. It's not going to make me have heart attack. It's not going to make me lose a lot of sleep because I invest based on the knowledge that anything could happen and that it is a risk. So that's the way I rock. I don't put up nothing. You know how you go in the club and you might drop 2000 in the club? That's throwaway money. That's That's party money. You know? That's how I invest, but I, you know, it stakes a whole lot higher for me these days, but I still, you know, my ascension in the game, when I, when I first started betting, I, my first, I think my first investment, I put up like 5,700 on the, when Bitcoin was at $5,700, then I, you know, went up to 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, you know, you know, I did it like that. I graduated. I didn't just do it all at one time, but I wouldn't suggest that anybody, I don't care what you're trying to invest in, I wouldn't suggest I wouldn't suggest that a person put all of their money in something like crypto. And real estate is different now, though. Don't get me wrong. You got 50 racks, you do the numbers on real estate, that money coming back if you understand numbers. Real estate is a very simple game. A uh, whole lot more secure than cryptocurrency or the stock market. You can't even compare the two. But all this other stuff, fam, all that high risk stuff, you know, you got to you got to look at it like a loan. You know, how when you loan your family money and they don't pay you back <laughs> when you when you get. In fact, you got to look at it like a gift. Stop looking at your loan when you stop looking at that loan like that you give your family members or your friends. Stop looking at it as a loan. You might call it a loan, but in your head. You call it a loan for them just in case they're going to pay you back. But in your mind, it's a gift because chances are you may not get it back. And that's the way this cryptocurrency thing works. That's the way most investments work. I know people who have started businesses, club businesses, restaurants, 
and all kinds of stuff and lost everything because they over leveraged themselves or they mismanaged the money or whatever happened. Somebody stole it, whatever. But that's the game, man. That's the game. You got to learn to take your bitter with your sweet. Um, you know, I don't know if there's any, any foul, foul play, foul play involved. And, you know, there are some people who think that this was a hit. This was some type of hit. I don't know. Uh, the jury is still alive. In any event, fam, y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. R.I.P. DJ Twitch. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>